A local U.S. Senate candidate responds to allegations he had sex with a teenager. Good afternoon and welcome to 2 News at Noon. Eric Deaton maintains he did nothing wrong despite charges filed by a grand jury. Sonu Wasu is live and on your side with the latest information. That's right. With his defense attorney by his side, Eric Deaton said these allegations are simply not true. And despite the nature of these charges, he plans to continue running for the seat being vacated by George Voinovich. Eric Deaton has been indicted on one count of unlawful sexual conduct with a minor. Police say he had an inappropriate relationship with a 15-year-old girl between March 2006 and 2007. Police believe he met this victim while serving as an elder at his church. Police say they have hotel receipts and video to prove their case. But Deaton's attorney, John Paul Ryan, questioned the timing of the indictment. It comes close to election time. Ryan also said his client had passed a four-hour-long polygraph test. Deaton is a member of the Constitution Party. In a press conference today, he said the accusations against him are lies. I am very fortunate to live in a country where I'm entitled to a fair trial by jury. I look forward to being able to defend myself against these false allegations in court. I will have my day. I want uh, people to know that I hold the Constitution very dear to my heart. Deaton is scheduled to be in court to answer to these charges on September 14th. In Dayton, Sonu Wasu, 2 News on your side.